how to make this really adorable watermelon squishy. This is my first time ever making a squishy and for a first time I think this is actually a really good squishy. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Alina and before we get out of the video remember to hit that red subscribe button and if you like this video be sure to give me a thumbs up. Let's get started. Okay, so you're going to need some memory foam. I got this memory foam pillow at Walmart for $10, and it's just memory foam, and that's what we're going to use to be the body of our squishy. So here I have cut a small square of our memory foam, and now we can shape it into a watermelon shape. So first what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a rough triangle onto our memory foam. So now we're going to cut it out, but we're not going to cut right on the line because it's not going to make a perfect line when you cut. It's going to be pretty jagged, and then we'll fix it later. And this may take a while to cut, so make sure to have patience. Okay, so now that this is all cut out, now we can take our scissors and we can go back over and fix all the rough edges. This may take a while, remember to have patience. Okay, now for the fun part. Now I'm going to take some green paint, but don't squirt it on the memory foam like I did. That was a very bad idea. Make sure you squirt it onto a plate instead and use a paintbrush and apply it onto the bottom. And now I'll paint the rest of the bottom. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing with the white paint, but we're just going to go right above the green. Okay, so now for the fruit part of the watermelon, what I'm going to do is I recommend using gloves for this because this will get messy. So you're just going to dip your finger into some pink paint and dab it all across the triangle. Sorry for the bad lighting. I had to film this outside. Okay, now for the seeds, I'm just going to take some black paint and take a small paintbrush and apply some seeds onto the top of the watermelon. After you paint on the seeds, then you'll set it on a napkin to dry for a few hours. And you're done. Now we have this adorable watermelon squishy. How cute is this? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe. So I think I used the wrong type of paint because as you could see it's splitting just a little bit. So if you guys know what type of paint I'm supposed to use, if you could tell me in the comments down below, that would be great. If you would like a shout out in my next video, if you could like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below on what your favorite type of slime is, and I will give you a shout out in my next video. Bye! See you guys next week!